This is Brickhead Boy Toy Reviews. Got my package. It's two day shipping. And here's the contents. There is a little brochure along with the set. By Brick Mania, set number 897. And this is skill number four. Contains 879 pieces. That Abrams tank. This is the 2019 release. And here's the back. By the way, there's no minifigures. So I have my own with the flag. So let's open it. With the package are out, here's the box and the flaps. Winners aren't born, they're built. Thank you for supporting Break Mania. Daniel Siskind, or Siskind, Commander in Chief. So inside are six bags plus, or actually six, and the track links along with a little sticker sheet and instruction which shows you the Abrams stats in the front page and for the back just some more pictures of the model so let's build it and here is the tank complete so all that's left over is five pieces of break many a track you have this clip for your machine gun and leftover sticker sheet, I used the two plus optional, I used the other two arrows for Desert Storm. So you're still left with two and some bullet holes. And now this tank is definitely recognizable by the shape and everything. Of course, it's an Abrams tank and tan color. Like I showed you with the sticker sheet, I used the those stickers for Desert Storm and the other two stickers are here and on the back the stud light cooler but on the front there's a, these are the only two printed pieces which is really nice quite happy with the build um, not too complex uh, actually straightforward not as hard as the leopard because the pieces just somehow went together more smoothly not much finding different type of color pieces they're just all tan color on the front you have a couple headlights and the rear too with your grill and a couple antennas your smoke launching system there and the cannon can depress and elevate so can the turret turn 360 And there you go. Also, two or a couple hatches which can open and close. This one can too, but you have to take these weapons out. And a couple machine guns by Brick Arms. Here's a closer look at them. And as I was building this, the tracks rolled fine, but as soon as I put the top on, it was a lot more difficult. And let's test it out. As you can see, it has somewhat of suspension, so. It can get stuck in place. You have to just move the tank in the right position and still not there. So it's more like it and tracks can't really move. Let's take this apart and see what's wrong. So take that off. So take this part off and I noticed that right here, once you put the top on, it kind of got squished the gears I mean the track so that's why it doesn't turn but in here rolls really good but once you put this on that's where the problem starts forgot to mention too just like the leopard tank this has studs not on top building the uh, Cassie so I like that and also too there's not much detail you can't put a minifig here which is kind of too bad and no engine detail put the turret back on and now let's use my minifigs see how they look on the tank with the American flag so I put one figure on this side the other side too however when I put the gun back on there's just not enough room for him so I don't know what to do with this uh, I've seen pictures where people have a minifig here but mine just can't go with the weapon so I just decided to clip the machine gun further out so I guess that works and have your American flag here 
No, oh, one thing's wrong. It's backwards. There. So one more time, let's roll it. Okay, backwards, but front ways, it doesn't really go. So before I conclude my review, let's do one more thing. Let's see how this looks compared to the Leopard 7 and Challenger 2. Aerial view and take it down. So what can I say? This is an awesome main battle tank and a fine addition to the collection. Retail price is 310 and you can get this sometimes when you catch a sale, 20% off, 15% off. So it's worth it if you have the money and no time. That's all I have to say about this. It's Breakhead Boy. Thanks for watching.